OK, uh, welcome. So what I have here is we need to solve what we call this multi-step equation. And on this problem, what we have is we have two variables on the same side. So just remember when dealing with multi-step equations, we've started with one step, then we worked a two-step, now we're getting on to multi-step. And remember, the whole purpose of this is to get a variable isolated so we can find the value of it, right? We need to find the value of the variable that makes your equation true. So I have 7p plus 8p, or 7 times the number, plus 8 times the number, minus 16 equals 59. What is the value of that number? Well, you could try to do the math in your head. Or what we can do is you can use a process to get the value of the variable by itself. Because if I have the, the variable by itself and I say p equals 8, well, you know the value of p is equal to 8. So 8 is the value that's going to make this true. However, I don't know if that's the value. Now, the main important thing I'm trying to portray to you, though, is we need to get this variable by it, or we need to get this variable by itself, and also we need to get one variable. Right here, we have two variables. So what we need to look at how can we take these two variables and bring them together to get one? Well, what we can do is what we call combining like terms. And I can combine these like terms because they have the same factors, or as this case, they have the same variable factor, which is p. Since they have the same variable factor p, I can just add them up. So 7p plus 8p is going to be 15p. And even though uh, pineapples wouldn't be a uh, good example because p is a variable, but uh, just for you to understand when they have the same variable factors, all we're really doing is just adding the coefficients of them. So you can think of like 7 apples or 7 pineapples plus 8 pineapples is going to be 15 pineapples, meaning this p is still going to be around. Um, 7 times p plus 8 times p really means 8, uh, I'm sorry, even really means 15 times p. So 15p minus 16 equals 59. So now by combining these two terms, now what we have is a two-step equation, which hopefully you remember we can go and work on this. So we are going to undo subtraction first by using the addition property of equality. Then what we'll have is 15p is going to equal uh, 75, then divide by 15, divide by 15, and you'll have p is going to equal 5. And therefore, we could go ahead and plug the value of p, which is 5. We could plug that back in for p and check our answer to make sure the equation is true, um, just to make sure that that solution is correct. But there you go. That's your solution-free problem. Hope you enjoy. Thanks.